All right, so if I'm going to draw a, a simple diagram here, what I'm going to try to do is just really quickly make a network topology diagram. Okay, so let's say here in a network you have a backbone that is 192.168.1.0 and its CIDR notation is uh, 4 slash 24. So that's going to be our um, that's going to be our um, our network right here. So 4 slash 24 means that the subnet mask is going to be 255, 255, 255.0. So usually on a network the zero is reserved for the wire. So if you're assigning IP addresses you wouldn't use zero, right? If I wanted to here, let's just draw out a couple of things here. So the one on the network is typically your the one on the network is typically your default gateway. Okay? So the um, in this case 192.168.1.1 that would be my default gateway. And so the range of IP addresses here could be anywhere from 1 to 255 with 0 being reserved for the line. So there's 256 possible combinations, 2 to the 7th. So 2 to the 7th is what we're looking at. So 256 possible combinations here. So if I was to go out and um, look at a network, what I could do is I could also, just in traditional networks, just like uh, one of you guys was saying earlier, the gateway is the dot one node. Well, the bipolar side of the house over here, or the, the true other side, would be the broadcast address. So for some reason, I always think about the, uh, you know, growing up, I always watched the uh, uh, Chips, California Highway Patrol, yes. and uh, Ponch and John. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, Ponch and John. <laughs> so you know, with Ponch and John, um, you know they'd be chilling at a at a at a, a party or whatever, and then all of a sudden they'd get a something on the walkie-talkie. Oh, we got all available units that need to board to a uh, two eleven in progress. Two eleven in progress down on Santa Monica Boulevard. Uh, Ponce Jones, can you make it out there? So a lot of times they would send out this thing called an all points bulletin, right, or an APB. So if you are familiar with that, or maybe you're not. Uh, that's really what I think of when I think of a, a broadcast address is the all points bulletin. Okay, so an APB. I'm sending it out to everybody who's listening, kind of like uh, Uncle Jesse used to say on Dukes of Hazard. Hey, you got your ears on? This is Shepherd calling lost sheep. Shepherd calling lost sheep. Got your ears on, right? Same sort of thing right here. The broadcast address. It sends it out to everybody who's listening. So the default gateway is over on this side. Broadcast address is here. So now we can have two to 254 as the possible nodes on the network. All right, so what can happen here? Well, if I wanted to just talk about a couple of these uh, attacks here really quickly, and we'll, we'll talk specifically about the Smurf first, and it talks ICMP, well, what would that mean? That means that if I wanted to be a bad guy down here, let's say that I plug into the network here, and on the network I either get an IP address or I go in and say, you know what, I'm just going to assign my own IP address. I'm going to statically assign my IP address. Maybe I'll grab the dot two node on the network. Okay. Well, what can I do? Well, let's say here that, and I'll make this guy uh, red. I'll make him red because he's going to be my, my attacker. And then uh, my other guy over here, um, I'll make, how about we call him uh, 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 187, okay? 
So we'll call him uh, node 187 here. And then over here, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and create a node on the network for him. So 187, he's going to be our victim. This is going to be the attacker, the red guy. This is going to be our victim. Well, what we could also do here is we could also set up a ton of other nodes on this network. So 255 nodes uh, all together, right? But now we don't have time to go through and do a demo of 255 nodes. So what we'll do is we'll just, for brevity purposes, we'll copy it a few times and we'll pretend like these are the 250 some odd nodes on the network still. Um, for brevity purposes, we'll just leave it here, okay? So if I was to, um, from my attacker node here, send out a, um, a ping to the 187 node here, right? 187 would reply back to me and say, hey, I'm alive, right? So it's an echo reply, echo reply, right? So if I send it directly to him, he'll send it back to me. Well, what I can also do here with as the red guy is I can send an ICMP request or a ping to the broadcast address. But in this particular case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spoof the address of the victim. And with the, uh, the 187 here, node, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to send a ping to the 255, the APB, and pretend like I'm 187 here, uh, which in the uh, uh, section 187 police code is a murder, by the way, conveniently. Uh, what will end up happening here, if I have uh, a spoofed node, I send it to the broadcast address, this broadcast address will amplify it, and where will it send it? So it'll send it over to here, but it says hey, I need all available units out on this network right now to respond back to me immediately, right? And immediately what this APB does is it sends a ping, this thing amplifies it, and it sends it out to everybody on the network, including 187, and it says, hey, 187 wants you to ping it back. So then immediately 250 nodes send pings over to you, and if it's a uh, distributed denial of service attack, it would happen pretty dang quick right there, right? So with the Smurf attack, in this particular case, the Smurf attack would be the ICMP, and in the other case, you would craft a Fraggle attack, very, very similar, except instead of sending a ping packet, you craft a UDP packet, send it to the broadcast address, and then the broadcast address would then overwhelm the victim as well. Very, very similar. It's just two different packet types between the two. But you will absolutely see those on your exam. Hopefully that makes sense.